and welcome to this episode. This is the second episode in my series that is for Artastic August where I'm going to be creating five different art lessons here on YouTube um, and you're going to be seeing great art lessons that you can use at home, in a classroom, wherever you are, anytime, anywhere, and explore a range of art making mediums and it celebrates the opening of my latest membership website called Artastic Kids, which is my online streaming art lesson program for kids, for families to do at home, or if you're a teacher, you can play it for your classroom. It is a perfect way to stream a range of different art lessons directly and make art anytime. So if you are a beginner artist, or if you're middle or advanced, no problem. You can pick a just right art lesson and hit play. You can pause me, fast forward, rewind as you need. And my friend, you're going to learn so many different ways and new skills for creating art. So check it out, Artastic Kids. It is my membership that's already full of art lessons. And then you get to enjoy five new art lessons every single month. So check it out. At the end of this video, click the link in the description below this video for Artastic Kids and dive in into a world of new possibilities. So in this episode, I'm going to be showing you how to create this lovely silly apple that uses wax crayons. If you want, you can use spell markers or wax crayons for the face and some liquid tempera paint or whatever paint that you have available to you. We're going to be creating these lovely silly apples, so grab some art making mediums and Let's make some art. All right, so we're gonna begin our super cute apple. First, we're gonna draw out our apple using a brown wax crayon. So we're just gonna grab a nice wax crayon and then we're gonna paint it. And while it dries, we're gonna work on our apple space. So we're gonna be using two art mediums in this lovely video art tutorial, we're gonna be using our liquid temper paint. You can grab some apple colors, whatever apple colors you have. I'm gonna do a green apple. You may wanna do a red apple. Whatever you want, you do you. I'm grabbing a few colors because I like it when those some apples have different streaks of colors going up and down it. So I like that look, so I'm gonna use a few colors. It doesn't have to be perfectly realistic. It is art after all. And then once that's done, or while this is dry, we're gonna work on our apple's face and then we're gonna glue that on at the very end. So we're gonna need one piece of paper, either cardstock, something thicker, a nice white piece of paper something a little bit thicker, and just a second piece of paper that's just plain white paper. We only need about half a sheet of paper, and we're gonna use that for the face at the end. All right, grab your wax crayon, and we're gonna draw an apple. So we're gonna draw a nice rectangle at the top, or towards the top of our paper for a stem, and make sure that we don't have any perfectly straight sides, because apples grow, or apple stems, which are parts of branches, they all grow in different sort of directions and shapes. Okay, we're gonna draw a curving line at the base of the stem for the little dimple that the stem grows out of on our apple. Then we're gonna draw a dot toward the bottom of our page directly under our stem. We're gonna put a dot way towards the bottom. So that way we're gonna draw one side that comes out and around and attaches and another side around and attach. So when you're ready, take your brown wax crayon and go out around, attach to that dot, out, around, and attach to that dot. And don't worry about, you can see that dot still, we're gonna be cutting out our apple at the very end and gluing it to a nice background color. All right, and once you're done, we're going to paint, oh, we're gonna color in our stem and then we're gonna paint our apple. So just go ahead and use that brown to color in your stem. And then, once you're done, you are ready to paint your apple with some fun apple colors, or you can be creative and add your own artist flavor to it. All right, we're gonna add some dots of paint. So I'm gonna simply add three dots of green at the top, and then I'm also gonna add a little bit of yellow and orange. So yellow on one side, and I'll add a bit of orange on the other side, just for fun. I know that's not really an apple color, but eh, maybe it is, I guess, and some red apples, but I just would like to have some apple colors, a variety going. And then I'm gonna grab a nice wide paintbrush, just like that, a nice wide tip on it. I'm gonna dip it in water so the paint moves more fluidly across the surface, 
And then I'm gonna start off with the green on top. I'm gonna mix it into that water. And then slowly I'm gonna bring it around and pull it down my page. And that orange is gonna first mix in. And then the yellow on the other side will mix in. And I'll go over it a second time to get a variety of colors. Just like that. And then you can see I'm going up and down with the shape of the apple, but on the sides, I'm curving that brush. And the lighter you press, the less brush strokes you will see. Okay. Beautiful. And once you're done, you're gonna go ahead and let your apple dry. And while that dries, we're going to grab our second piece of paper to make our silly face. All right, so we're gonna grab a black felt marker for our face and you can use whatever kind of black marker you want or you can use your black wax crayons if you would like. We're gonna begin with a mouth. So we're gonna draw a nice big oval for our mouth. We're gonna draw two circles for eyes. In each circle, we're gonna draw another circle. And then we're gonna color in those circles, leaving just a little bit of white at the very end. Next, we're going to color in the mouth, all dark. that's done you can go ahead and cut out your mouth and your eyes Now we're not gonna get rid of this paper yet, the scrap paper, because we're gonna turn it into our apple's teeth. So once you're done cutting the eyes, we're just gonna put them to the side, and then we're just gonna grab some of this extra paper, and we're just gonna cut a strip off. And now we're gonna just cut it up into different shapes. It could be triangle teeth, it could be rectangle teeth, you can have all kinds of different shapes. We're just gonna cut a whole bunch of teeth just like that. And then we're gonna glue them onto the mouth. We're gonna glue it, put our mouth down, and then we're just gonna take our glue stick, we're gonna grab a tooth, and we're just gonna add some strokes of glue, and then we're just gonna place these teeth on top to make a super silly apple mouth. Okay, and now we have an apple mouth and two silly apple eyes. And once those are done, you can grab your background when your apple is dry. And we'll glue it all together and add it to a background. All right, so once your 
apple is dry, grab your scissors and cut it out. Now I like to leave a little bit of a border. Now where it's a little bit messed here, I'll probably clean that up and trim it closer. Or I have a nice smooth edge, I'm gonna leave a little bit of a white border. And that's just gonna add some contrast to my artwork. It'll be light versus dark. So when I glue it on a background piece of paper, it's gonna stand out a little more. Now it's artist choice. You can choose to keep the white or cut it off. Up to you. And then we're gonna glue on our face. Oh yeah. Okay, grab your face, grab some glue. Don't worry about it curling right now. It's just not mounted to anything yet. I'm missing an eyeball. Oh, it's on my mouth, look at that. Okay, we're gonna glue the mouth down first. We're gonna go around the border, then the inside. We're gonna place, we're gonna layer that onto the mouth. Two flat hands to press and hold. And lift. We're gonna glue an eye. Add it to your apple. Glue another eye. Add that to your apple. And now look at how silly your apple is. I love it. Okay, take your apple, place it to the side. Grab a choice color background paper. Also take your glue stick lid and press till it clicks. Make sure we have some glue for next time. And then we're gonna grab a wax crayon. So we had our brown before. If you want, you can use that brown again. And we're just gonna use that color to make some line texture on our background so it's not boring. So we're gonna bring some visual interest by repeating a pattern of lines across our background. So we're gonna start off with a zigzag line. We're gonna do a zigzag line. And then we're gonna do a looping line. And we're gonna repeat this across the paper to make an interesting background for our silly apple. Just using a wax crown, simply just to, again, add some repetition, add a pattern, add some visual interest to our background. And that way when we put our apple on it, it's a lot more interesting for our viewers to look at. All right, grab your glue stick again. And then you can go ahead and glue the back of your apple around the border first, then add some glue on the inside, hold it by the edges, move it around so you find a spot that you like. Okay, two flat hands to press and hold. I'm gonna have to do this a couple times because it's so big. Hold it for a few moments to allow the glue to bond to both the background paper and the apple. Lift, two flat hands to press and hold. Again, ensuring a adhesion of the glue with the paper and lift and once you're done your lovely silly apple artwork is done well my friend i hope you enjoyed making this art lesson with me remember the artastic kids membership is open it's grand opening has happened so make sure you check it out again it's my online streaming art lesson platform where i'm going to provide you with a huge art resource library of art lessons to choose from with five new art lessons being added every single month so that way you can expand your creative thinking you can expand your critical thinking skills you can develop new art making techniques and skills and then become a a growing artist at home, okay? So you can stream art lessons anytime, anywhere, from the comfort of your home. You can do it with your family to spend more quality time with them. Or if you want, if you're a teacher, you can stream art lessons directly in your classroom with Artastic Kids. It is um, an online streaming service. Again, you can click a video, hit play, and you can stream art lessons. Again, New five new art lessons are added every single month to the platform. Uh, so it's an ever-growing art resource lesson library, um, fully loaded with a ton of art lessons and five new ones are added every single month. And for more information, make sure you check out the link below the video right now, Artastic Kids. Now let's check out more information on Artastic Kids. Artastic Kids, where kids get to create some fabulous 
art projects all from the comfort of their home or any place at any time using just a few common art making mediums. So my platform is easy to use. You simply log on, grab an art project, click it, and boom, I'm gonna walk you through the entire thing in a fun, engaging way. So let's check out some of the art projects that we're going to do on Artastic Kids. Thank you. 